I should have brought my uh, my drone. You know, actually, this could work as a drone. Oh my God, that's a beautiful drone shot. And let's bring the drone down. Okay. Midlife loser. Well, hello everyone. It is me, Scott, your midlife loser. You know that guy that you occasionally stumble across here on YouTube. And today will mark the very first video where I, Scott, your midlife loser, will start his hiking uh, videos. Yes, that's right. Don't worry, I'll be doing other videos, but this one marks the very first hiking video. And that being said, I at least want to introduce you to the gorgeous hills of Huber Heights, where many, many non celebrities have gone hiking, taken their dogs, their cats, their birds out with them on a gorgeous hike. And also, where they filmed two classic films that's right. Actually, two non-classic films. Mommy, why can't I dress like my sister? And Mikey, go get your helmet. We're going shopping. That's right. They filmed us right here in this particular park. This, These trails. And oh, by the way, since I am outdoors, I noticed it was kind of windy when I got started back there. So hopefully, this tree wooded trail area will kind of diffuse some of that wind. Of course, I'll find out later as soon as I put this SD card into my computer and start editing. Oh, I burned... Now there's no way I burned 13 calories. There's no way. While I'm out here hiking and I'm inviting you along, I figured, you know what, what can I do to make this, you know, somewhat entertaining? Instead of me just walking, looking around, looking at these, well, at this point now, the dead trees. Of course, we know it's pretty common this time of year. I mean, it's still the middle of March and pretty soon, hopefully in about a month, we'll start seeing some of these trees blossom. But I figured while I'm out here hiking, I'm not just these trails but other trails as well I figured this would give you the good opportunity well myself to answer your questions so yes every video that I will have as I'm hiking I will be answering you know selective questions that you my viewers want to ask me it could be a one-part question it could be a two-part question and the only thing that I ask of you because YouTube is so much more strict this day and age Please make sure that your questions are kind, respectful, non-offensive. You know, we want to have fun here. We want to be clean. And we just want to have some fun and friendly topics here. Occasionally a serious video, which I do have one coming up soon. So look forward to that, kids. Yes, that's right. Not only am I out here getting exercise, I also have to remind myself that I want to make sure that I always have this selfie stick in my right hand. Why am I telling you this? It's really not that important for you, but I want to keep this arm moving because I want to keep track of my steps or just, you know, because of exercising. If you see me in a future video where I'm holding it over here, tell me in the comment section at least, Scott, put that in your right hand next time. Thank you. I appreciate it. I just find this to be the best way to get a more accurate uh, feed, I guess, because my watch is on my left arm and I'm left-handed, so that's probably why I would do that. Let me cross this creek here. It's, it could be dangerous. I'll let you see how deep and how wide this creek is. Oh my God. Oh. <sighs> Made it. In this video, I'm only gonna have a couple questions to answer because there's only been a couple asked so far. <sighs> this, is a, this is a good sign that I'm, I need exercise. So, first question. What fad trend, what was it again? What, what fad or trend, yeah, you hope has a comeback? Well, like I said, I'm a retro guy. If anything, I would hope the 80s, yes. I'd love to see more of a fad trend, a fashion statement come back from the 80s. Remember those wonderful neon clothes, the socks, the knee-high socks, and you know, the, Deb the Debbie Gibsons of the world, shake your dude, or whatever. I'd love to see that come back. And of course, the mullet. 
yes, the mullet needs to have a comeback. That was the hair of all hairstyles. I myself, yes, I will admit, had sported a mullet back in the day. Guilty. Uh, guilty. And I was very proud of my mullet. Yes, I was very proud of it. I even had it down to here at one point. Of course, back then. Oh, my God. During this particular take, this is where I'm answering your second question. Unfortunately, the wind is blowing very heavily into the microphone and you can't even hear me talk. So I'll just do it this way. You're about to get into a fight. What song comes on as your soundtrack? The most underrated song of the 80s, however, in my opinion, the strongest of all. Olivia Newton-John's Sanity. It just kicks ass. Wow. Yeah, so far that's the only two questions that I have. So yeah, hopefully as time progresses, I'll have more questions to ask. You know, maybe I should have spread those out a little bit more the more I think about it. Or I could possibly add it in to where, you know, I do a little bit more talking to you, asking how you're doing, and then spread out the questions. You know, let's just don't jump right into it and then in the video. This is really cool. Did I, have I mentioned that yet? This is really cool. Now, most likely, once spring gets here and some of these trees start to bloom, they're pretty, pretty leaves. Probably won't be able to see that creek very much. And even though here in Ohio, uh, our lakes are not always that clear. Usually, actually, I would consider that to be clear. Because most of the time, any rivers that I see go by, unless you're up close, they're always brown and dirty. So, yeah, that's because, well... And they may get even more brown and dirty if we keep on going through this toilet paper crisis. But you know what? I'm not going to complain about... What's the point? I'm way too old to be complaining about stuff that I have absolutely no control over. And I'm too damn tired to even care. If anything, once I'm done recording, I'll complain about it later. You know, in my own home. As you take a good look, these trees, they were actually used in a low-budget horror film. And unfortunately, the film hasn't been released yet because of publications and, and of all the rights that still need to be, well, corrected. But yes, these trees right here, hopefully someday we'll get to see it. But yes, these trees right here were filmed in a, uh, in a uh, well, I really shouldn't talk about it too much now that I think about it. I'll tell you what, folks, I am feeling good right now. I am uh, getting the exercise that I needed. What the hell time is it? Two o'clock? I've been out here for probably ten minutes. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I feel like crap right now. I just think there's a little bit of over-exaggeration that's going on. And I could be wrong. I mean, I could very well be wrong. But the thing that really shocks the living hell out of me, and I may have a heart attack before this video is over with, but the thing that really shocks me, I honestly never thought that when Armageddon or the end of the world or whatever ever viruses are going to take over, I never honestly thought for one moment in my life would toilet paper be an issue. Whew, dear Lord, am I in shape. It's a good thing I brought my water with me. Ah, oh, crap, I left it in the car. Oh, I interrupted my... I'm supposed to be hiking right now. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> I am definitely going to be bringing you guys back out here again. I've never honestly went this far before in, this, in these trails. And I'm telling you what, they're pretty friggin' cool. I'm a happy bunny. As you can see here, I'm clapping my hands. I'm a happy bunny. You know what, I really don't know much more to talk about in this particular video. Maybe that's a good time to shut the hell up and simply, I seriously appreciate I don't care if it's just a few of you that watch my videos on a regular basis. Thank you. That's awesome. You may do it yourself, so you'll understand. You're making these videos. Either you have scripted or you've non-scripted. You put work into it, but you have a lot of fun doing it, right? And that's why I'm doing this. I have a lot of fun making these videos. That's the number one reason why anybody should be doing this here on YouTube, is to have fun. And if you, let's say, watch my videos, occasionally haven't subscribed yet, or you are watching this for the very first time, you're kind of curious to see, ooh, he's got something going here. You want to go ahead and subscribe. 
and then that notification bell right next to it duh because it's going to notify you the next time i'm going to you know upload another you know what did i call this video what did i call it hiking with a midlife loser does that sound good hiking with i think that's where i'm going to have it hiking with a midlife loser so that sounds smooth yes so trust me, I know you're thinking, no, no, he failed, he crashed and burned, I don't want to subscribe, I don't want to hit that notification bell, because he doesn't even know the name of these particular playlists of videos. What's my first one here? This is my first hiking, I already said that earlier in the video, you probably heard me say that already. Oop, hold on, let me get a classic blooper shot that's about to come up. Thank you for watching my video. Oh, I tripped and fell.